Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with the Zag Glass Plus 360 for iPhone 10. So this is a product which is going to protect the front, back, and sides of your iPhone 10. You have a tempered glass screen protector on the front, a hybrid glass back protector on the back, and then around the sides you have a clear plastic bumper. Very interesting product. It also features Zag's excellent installer for iPhone 10 screen protectors. I've used this once and was very impressed. Can't wait to try it out here on the Glass Plus 360. Let's get started with an install of this product on my iPhone 10 in Space Gray. Looking at the contents of the box, we have the tempered glass screen protector, the hybrid glass back protector, the exciting installer that I'm looking forward to using again. We have our clear plastic bumper, then we have a microfiber cloth, two cleaning wipes, and a dust removal sticker. So we should be all set. Let's get started. First of all, we want to clean the phone. Very important to start with a clean phone. Going to start with a wet wipe first. Then, going to dry things with the microfiber cloth. Finally, we're going to use our dust removal sticker to check and make sure that there's no dust on there, and if there is any, remove it. Next, you want to put the easy apply tray on the phone. Next, you're going to want to peel off the stiff plastic backing that is protecting the adhesive on the back of the screen protector. Uh, don't touch the adhesive. If you can possibly avoid it, you can use these easy apply tabs to hold onto it once the backing has been removed. As I said, it is a stiff backing, so it takes a little time to get it off. Next, you want to put the screen protector down very carefully within the confines of the installer. Be sure to put this on perfectly straight. Overall, really quite impressed with this install. Went on remarkably easily. I feel like maybe I'm a little bit far down on the bottom here, just by a tiny bit, but overall, really cannot complain about that install. A little spot up here. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to work that out with my fingernail. Let's go to the back of the phone and put on our back protector. Again, same thing. We're going to want to make sure that the back of the phone is beautiful and clean. Use the included wet wipe, then you can dry it with the same microfiber cloth and then do the same dust removal sticker stuff. You do not need to use the installer for the back protector. In order to install the back protector, you're going to need to peel off this tab here that is marked 11111 in order to expose the adhesive. Then put it carefully on the back of the phone. Make sure that it lines up nicely with the sides and the bottom and obviously goes around the camera properly. Once you have it lined up, gently lay it down and then run your fingers along the middle line here, which is kind of satisfying and get it to adhere. Once all the bubbles have been removed to the best of your ability, peel away the plastic layer and you are all done. The fit of the back protector is not exactly optimal. As you can see, it's a little bit low on the bottom here, so I'm going to try to take this off and reposition it. I didn't think that the reposition was going to go so well, but actually it's pretty easy to peel this off and put it back on. I think that the results were reasonable. Overall, looking at the result of the Glass Plus 360, really quite impressed. Screen protector is excellent, wonderful oleophobic coating, buttery smooth underneath the fingers, very responsive, no issues anywhere, just a pleasure to use. Did have a little bit of a bubble down here in the corner, which hasn't gone away, but overall I found that the install was very 
very good and I do love that installer. Looking at the back, less pleased with the back. This is a hybrid glass and hybrid glass is intended to be a bit tougher than regular glass and of course that's very important because the back of your phone is extremely fragile. But the hybrid glass has more plastic in it and does tend to be more fingerprinty and that is noticeable here. You definitely have more fingerprints on this uh, than you do on the front but that's a bit of a trade-off. In terms of the fit, uh, do have a bit of a line running around the edge. I do have a little bit of a spot up here in the corner uh, where there's a bit of a bubble. Hopefully that's going to go away and also there are a couple micro bubbles that still have not gone away as well. So the fit of this is not as good as the screen protector but it's there for protective purposes and I think particularly when you have it on with a bumper you really don't notice for example the haloing that is around the sides and I do hope that our little areas here of non-adhesion are going to go away with time. So the only thing that I don't like about the Glass Plus 360 is the bumper. The bumper is just barely utilitarian. It does give a very slim form factor which is excellent. There's no issue with their port openings. Um, they're reasonably generous that that is all good and of course this is going to work with wireless charging obviously because the bumper is not impeding anything in that way. Buttons are fine. They are nice and responsive and they're there's no issue in getting to your mute switch or anything like that. That is all good. However, it's kind of a cheap and cheesy feeling bumper. It doesn't have a really great fit on here. You can pull it away from the phone and it just overall quality wise just does not match the quality of the rest of the product. It does, however, give you sufficient protection for your protruding camera. So if you're worried about that, you can rest assured that you do have just enough lip here to protect that. So that is good. So overall, I guess if if I were looking at this product, I would get this for the screen protector and the back protector. I definitely would not get it for the bumper because I think that that's not really much value added. However, this should work with other bumpers, so if you want to simply get it and then switch out the bumper for something nicer, then that is certainly one way that you can proceed. Again, we've been looking at the Zag Glass Plus 360 for iPhone 10. This product is available directly from Zag as well as from other retailers, and it has an MSRP of $69.99. It comes in the single color of black shown here. Many thanks to the kind folks at Zag for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this product, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please do consider it because I have lots more great accessory reviews yet to come. Again, this is Kristen, and this is is the Zag Glass Plus 360 for iPhone 10. Have a fantastic day.